few things to remember firstly phones if you could put your phones on silent that would be appreciated and um, just so you don't disturb other patrons and it could distract the dolphins to make them leave so silence always good when you're taking a photo of someone doing the dolphin thing feeding um, you use your video rather than the photo because you can miss it for the time you get the shutter they've taken it and gone so so yeah so if you could just do the video um, entry is ten dollars. That includes feeding. So everybody pays ten dollars. Everybody gets a feeding ticket. And the tide's lower, so that's good. You don't have to get too wet today. So. <laughs> Sorry, we're not open we're, yet. We're not open. Yeah. Once it gets through your shoes. Like to go down onto the beach. You can take your shoes off. So if you just want to say hello, you just welcome. Okay. We have a four-year-old uh, juvenile, Luna. And we're waiting on his mum and her calf to come in and his grandma and her calf to come in as well. So we'll just wait and see when they come in. They were a little bit late yesterday morning. They actually didn't come in till about nine o'clock. So we will just see. Okay, you're going to be able to go down onto the beach and you'll be able to see Luna up close and personal and hear a bit of information about them. I do ask when you go down that you do stay please about a metre back from the water. Water uh, tide is coming in. Okay, is that everybody coming down? We'll just get yeah. you off the ramp there, guys. You can come a little bit closer, but stay out of the water. You really don't want to be in here at the moment because it is quite tough. Four year old humpback. Australian humpback dolphin, his name is Luna. So just a reminder, we're all volunteers here. Lorna's just, just fairly new, so um, she's still learning. So, and also if you have any questions, please do ask. With the, why you have to stand at the beach, um, these dolphins are wild. Don't forget, they look cute and cuddly when they're in here, but not always. So we always check them over when they come in in the morning to see if they have any injuries, but one thing, uh, they have a great immune system, so they heal really well. Sometimes can look really awful, or the blubber comes out. We've had that with cat, with a um, uh, he had a shark bite, and it really looks awful, believe me. But great immune system, heal really well. What they can't cope with is our bacteria. So this is another reason we don't put our hands on them because they might have an injury. They can't cope with our bacteria, so that's another reason. So there is a community of 80, but we only have at the moment, at the moment five that come into feed out of those. So the, our regular five, plus the two new babies. Have you guys heard about our new babies? 
So hopefully, fingers crossed, at least one of the mums will come in. How many? Two. Okay. Yeah, we have um, we have little Nova. She was born on the 14th of February, and then her mum Ozzy and Ozzy's mum Ella. Ella has just had a baby. And they will not outswim a, um, a shark. They're quite a cruisy kind of dolphin. You might have noticed that they look a little bit different to what you were expecting when you came down here. They're, we have around a thousand here in Australia, so starting from the um, Queensland, uh, from the New South Wales border up to right up to the north. Um, different kinds of communities. We have quite a large one here with the 80, which is really, really good. Thank you. Colouring. So the colouring um, is still quite a slate grey, but when you see the older ones come in, they lose that colouring over time. So it kind of like a white, and they go on wattly, creeps up from the side. Their rostrum goes quite wide. Their dorsal fin and underneath, and it just keeps coming, creeping up. And when you see Ella, she's just more or less got a, like a grey stripe on top. So very different looking dolphin to the to, compared to the bottom nose. And just um, size-wise, when they're fully grown, about two meters fifty long, so he's still got a little bit to go. And like eight of them were in here. That would have been that would be amazing. But I don't know if he would be in the water with them. I think I think we would respect them. Um, very gentle in general when they come in. A little bit of space there. Always head first, obviously because of the scales. He already knows I have one. And then you just pop it under the water. Oh no. I'm going to remove. I have a pretty for you. And then very gentle. See that? He does love kids. Generally, he parks himself in front of kids and just stares at them for some reason. See, there he goes again. He's, he's picked the kids. So, um, back to the fish. So, they, they like uh, crustacean and uh, crabs and things like that. that. That's what they eat as well. So. And the thing is, they get um, three kilos here, which adds up to somewhere between 40 and 60 fish. They have to think about their breathing. So they have to think about coming up and breathing. So if they don't do that, they're just gonna drown. And uh, so what they do is they close one eye and shut off one half of their brain and just have kind of like a nap. That's why these males often will travel together as well. because So when they're having that kind of nap, they're looking after each other as well, just in case, because as I said, predators out there, obviously, they have to be aware of what's going on. The dolphin stayed here. The locals fed this dolphin, looked after it while it was here. And after about two weeks, it swam off, did a few tail slaps, and they thought, yeah, that's it. So, but this dolphin then started coming in with others. About the foraging and the fighting, and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about the fun side of it, some of the things they do with it. Where with the foraging, they'll get that rostrum and they'll dig down into the, the rocks and the mud and they're looking for food, the ABC. I also had a friend in Ontario at the time and she messaged me and she said, hey Donna, is this real or is this a setup? Uh, and Which I might um, steal that fuzzy thing off your hair and use it as a muff. And they're going to get some more information. So all those people that haven't been down, we're going to get to hear it all now. The feed will probably happen at around about 5 to 8 ish. Oh, yeah. And um, if some more dolphins come in, you will see three generations of dolphins. If you, um, I came down to give him a fish earlier on, he's nearly on the beach, flapping his mm. fins to get up on the beach. Yeah, me too. So yeah, he's a very, he's a very playful, um, he's a mischievous dog. So while we do have babies, they are very social. They love people just as much as you guys and we love them. So yeah. Look, you can see his teeth. If his, if his grandmother came in, Bella, this is petroleum. Petroleum. Diesel. No. Candy crystals. Girls will be swimming in. Under, down, under. Take your hand out now. Take your hand out. 
What? Oh, just there with the dolphins, remember? It's so under the water. Under. Oh, I know with the hawk. Oh, take your hand out. Oh, it's Ella. Ella. She should not stand for me. With her baby. With her baby. Oh, a kilo cup that she was up there. With her baby. So, this way, yeah. You can come in. Come. You can come down. Yep. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, she's way out there. <laughs> Thank you. 